Hey everybody, for this episode of Coins in History, we have a 1929 half penny from Australia. The obverse of the coin is engraved by Edgar Bertram McCannell. It features George V wearing a, a crown facing left. There's a Latin abbreviated inscription which translates to George V, by the grace of God, King of all the British territories, Defender of the Faith, Emperor of India. There is also the engraver's initials, BM. The reverse of the coin is designed by William Blakemore. It features a circle of beads. On the inside, there is a denomination of value, one half penny. On the outside of the beads, there is an inscription, Commonwealth of Australia, and the date, 1929. Also, this particular coin has no mint mark, indicating that it's from Melbourne. Now we'll discuss what was going on the year this coin was minted in Australia. 1929 could be described as a difficult year for most of the world. The stock market crash in the United States brought poverty and other issues to Australia. During this year and the years following, Australia would experience hardships such as deflation, a drop in income, and unemployment, among other things. As a response, Australia removed their currency from the gold standard. Still, struggles continued, especially by laborers like those in the coal mining industry. This was demonstrated by the coal strikes in the winter, which resulted in one miner's death after being shot by police. Apart from the economic troubles, 1929 was still an eventful year. For example, Western Australia commemorated their cent centenary celebrating 100 years since Perth's beginning. Also on April 4th, a dam broke on the Cascade River, causing the Tasmanian floods, which, caused, which killed 14 in Derby. Next was a series of political events. The first of these was the foundation of Fremantle as a city in Western Australia on June 3rd. After that, a national election was held. In this election, James Scullin leader of the Labour Party, was elected to Prime Minister. Later in the year, Victoria also had an election which is particularly troublesome. Premier William Murray McPherson refused to give up his position after losing the election. This resulted in a no-confidence vote which he was forced out and replaced by Edmund Hogan. In other news, this was also a big year for sports. In the first of these events, Don Bradman scored 112 runs in a cricket match against England. Later, Night March won the Melbourne Open Horse Race. Also this year, the Australian rugby team went on a kangaroo tour of Great Britain. Also in the art world, John Longstaff won the Archibald Prize for his portrait of Alexander Leeper. This is Coins in History.